Over the last few years from Disney, we have been getting a lot of film reboots and remakes. Primarily right now, they have been focusing mainly on doing live action remakes of their old animated films that they did before from years ago. Now let me ask you a question about those remakes and reboots that we have been getting from Disney, such as Dumbo, Mary Poppins, most recently The Lion King. Do you think that they are unnecessary? If your answer is yes to that, then you're most certainly going to be baffled by the upcoming remake that they have planned in the years to come. What if I told you they were going to do a remake of Home Alone, of all films? Honestly, Disney, get gone with ya. Disney has announced it's going to remake Home Alone for its new streaming service. Yep, nobody asked for that. The studio's chief executive, Bob Iger, said there will also be reimaginations of Night at the Museum, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and Cheaper by the Dozen. Franchises that aren't even that old, some of them aren't even 10 years old, and we are getting remakes of them for whatever reason from Disney, because they want to try and get as many cash grabs as they can, from all of these remakes before people eventually get sick of them and officially just don't go to see them. The new Disney service, Disney Plus, which is an equivalent to Netflix, but the Disney version of it, launches in the US in November and is expected to hit the UK next year. And if all we're going to be getting on this Disney Plus is just remakes and reboots, I'm certainly not going to be going for it. The Christmas classic, and it's going to remain a classic, although Disney is probably going to ruin it with a remake starring Macaulay Culkin, was originally released back in 1990 and has an audience rating of 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's also impossible to avoid if you have a TV on around Christmas time. I'm certainly going to try and avoid this remake, talking about avoidance. So far this year, we've released five of the top six movies. I got told a conference call with investors. Because Disney right now is trying to cash cow every major popular franchise. And Home Alone seems to be the latest one. Including four which have generated more than a billion dollars in global box office. The way you gotta look at it is people are obviously buying tickets to see these films. So in some kind of perspective, it makes sense that Disney tries to cash cow nearly all of these franchises. In addition to Avatar, Planet of the Apes, X-Men and Deadpool, we're also focused on leveraging Fox's vast library of great titles to further enrich the content mix of our platforms, he said. That's their way of saying they're going to plan even more remakes of more beloved franchises that you may have loved when you were younger. Also in line for one of these reimaginations is Night at the Museum. You know, Ben Stiller running around a museum at night. A film that does not need a remake because it's not even that old of a film, but Disney still feels that they need to remake it. Like, when you look at this franchise, it wasn't even the most successful franchise. They've even admitted here that it only had 42% on Rotten Tomatoes. The way I'm looking at it is, is a remake really that necessary? Now, the common answer would probably be no, but with Disney, they're going to try and remake everything that they can get their hands on. There aren't any details yet on how exactly the likes of Home Alone will be adapted, so no words yet on who will get to shout Kevin on a plane, or indeed who will take the iconic roles of the Wet Bandits. Regardless of who they probably get for those roles, and I have a feeling they're going to probably go down the woke route, ultimately, I cannot really see them topping the original performances of the likes of Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci and Macaulay Culkin. And that's just a fact. They're not going to top it. Ultimately, when you look at these kinds of franchises that they do intend to remake, it is obvious that Disney is just trying to make as much money as possible. And the only way we can actually show that we are against what Disney is currently doing, their current agenda, is by not paying tickets, paying for tickets to go see these films. That is the best way to say that we don't want these films, we don't want them remade, we don't want them ruined, you know, we don't want them messing with the canon and things like that. Now, obviously, from what we know, I think they're putting them, they're going to be putting these new reboots and remakes onto their, on their new Disney Plus service, but, like I said, the only way to actually protest all of the rampant remakes that Disney is making is by just not paying for the ones that they do put out on cinema. But obviously, I can't really see an awful lot changing anytime soon with the fact that the ones that they're currently making now are making over a billion dollars each. 
But overall, people, be sure to let us know what you think about this down below. What are your opinions on all of these remakes that Disney are trying to make? It's obvious that they're cash grabs, but ultimately, what else do you think that they will um, intend to remake, you could say, in the years to come? Be sure to let us know what you think about this news down below, okay? Alright, gentlemen, this has been Lord Flashheart. Be sure to rate, comment, favourite, share and subscribe. And I will see you again. Cheerio.